In this video, we want to review some of the supplier related setups. And these are found in the system options in Pables. So let's have a look at some of these um, related supply related setup options. So from Pables Vision Operations USA, we're going to go to setup options and we want to select Pables system options, sorry, Pables system setup. So the first thing to note here that the supply number is automatic, is numeric, and it gives us the next number. And also in, in terms of the control, um, the invoice match option is at PO level. Payment is the standard pay group is what, what's used. The invoice currency for supplies is US dollars. And term basis is system pay date basis is based on the due date payment terms is 30 days um, which is based on the terms date plus 30 and we're not taking always taking discount we don't and we don't create interest invoices so this will automatically default when we create suppliers uh, from the system setup for payables so let's have a look at some of the other defaults. Let's have a look now at the financial options. So within the financial options, we will be able to see things like the accounting that are defaulting from the financial options. So from the accounting tab, we can see the default liability account, um, default prepayment account. Now all these are operating unit specific and they can be overridden at the supplier site level. Now things like discount taking will be utilized if you pay a supplier within the payment term specified on their invoice and that's provided the payment terms contain a discount. So we've got prepayment bills payable, discount um, PO rate variance gain and loss account. If we've got any expense, we can put an expense clearing in here and any miscellaneous accounts as well. These are the default GL accounts. So in the supplier purchasing tab, we're able to see the defaults for the ship to and the bill to. Um, this added ship to and the bill to locations and also the default inventory organization you can see that this is actually um, a required field. So that's one of the reasons why we need to set up inventory before we use payables so that we can know the inventory org that will be assigned to our um, financial options. So that's the default inventory org. And again, these are defined at the operating unit level and then they flow down all the way through to the supplier when the supplier is created. Other things to note is um, freight on board, the default value, and also freight terms, which is due. And if you're using encumbrance, then you can see the setup for encumbrance and for tax. If you're VAT registered, you put in your member state for tax purposes and the tax registration number. And then for the HR perspective, this is if you have expenses set up, I expenses, then you can select the business group. You can select the default uh, pay for expenses and whether to use approval hierarchies in approving your expenses. And also the next employee number and the automatic numbering for the next employee number. So these are all the defaults coming through from the uh, financial options. So let's very quickly look at some of the defaults coming through from the payables options. Again, some of this relate to suppliers and some are mainly for transacting. So we can see here that um, for payment, payment accounting for payment is when payment is issued and, and when payment clears. 
and also account for the gain or loss. Again, we can see for payment purposes, we'll see that as well, and also the bills payable, and also any automatic offset, interest calculation, discount methods, and then a prepayment as well, prepayment account. Prepayment account, again, we're saying this will be from supply side. Again, this is dependent on the supply setup. And then we see examples for currencies, um, whether we want to allow more to currencies and also the exchange rate and the realized gains and losses account. For tax reporting, we want again some defaults. And then when we transact invoice, key things to note here that you can confirm date as invoice number. As an example, you can allow online validation. This allows you to validate the invoice when you create the invoice. And then you have other options like document category overrides, allow adjustments to paid invoices, allow remit to account override and so on. You have the GL date basis, which is invoice date. You have prepayment um, defaults as well for the invoice. And if you're gonna be using invoice approval, you can set approval here and then matching, allow final matching and the tolerances for your, um, for your invoicing as well for goods and for services. You've got interest if you're going to allow interest and also for the expense report, the default template for expense reporting for your employees and also whether you want to create employee as supplier when you, when you want to pay the employee if it doesn't already exist. You have other options, for example, the payment options, um, whether you want to exclude tax from discounts, whether you want to allow single payment, any bank charges and also withholding tax setups and then this is the supply default again coming through um, which is the invoice the invoice currency we, we saw that earlier on as well in the um, in the options so that's the default and again these are all operating unit dependent so th that's the core setup required for suppliers and thanks for watching see you in the next video